circuit solution using the node voltage method. Please watch the loop current video before this one. The circuit has five resistors, two current sources, one voltage source. We want to find these three voltages. The node voltage method requires all current sources. And here is a voltage source. However, since this Thevenin component can be converted to a Norton, we now have all current sources, which is required by the node voltage method. These three voltages are the node voltages that we want to determine. Each one is the assumed voltage with respect to ground. The node voltage method uses Kirchhoff's current law for all three nodes. Positive voltages are assumed for V1, V2, and V3. V1 is greater than V2 is greater than V3 is also assumed. Therefore, the currents through all resistors are V3 divided by R9, V2 divided by R7, V1 divided by R5, V1 minus V2, the quantity, over R6, V2 minus V3, the quantity over R8. All currents are now specified. Kirchhoff's current law can be written for each of the three nodes. Kirchhoff's current law for node 1 using I out equals I in which is the same as this version. Kirchhoff's current law for node 2 using I out equals I in. Please pause and confirm. Kirchhoff's current law for node 3 using I out equals I in is the same as this version. Combine all three of these Kirchhoff's current law equations into one matrix equation. Row 1 is Kirchhoff's current law for node 1. Row 2 is Kirchhoff's current law for node 2. Row 3 is Kirchhoff's current law for node 3. Similar to the loop current method, notice the symmetry. And notice the diagonal elements are positive, and the non-zero off diagonal elements are negative. The diagonal elements are the sum of the inverse resistors that touch that node. The off diagonal elements are the sum of the inverse resistors between each pair of nodes. Since 1 over R equals G, or inverse resistance equals conductance, this 3 by 3 matrix can be called the conductance matrix, G. And the node voltage vector showing all three unknown node voltages and the current vector showing all three currents going into each node. This is the matrix version of Kirchhoff's current law, where I out on the left equals G times V, and I in on the right equals I, or current out equals current in. Therefore, G times V equals I, and solving for V here are the three node voltages. G inverse times I. 